again this is the second video uh, for the same database schema and if you haven't watched the first one uh, please do watch because some of the concepts from this some of the concepts from the previous video are going to be very useful in this one we have already done this one and for the second one it says increase salary of, of the teachers salary of those teachers by 5% this is the update statement uh, obviously you might have already understood this question is also related to update because we have to increase the salary by 5% and the condition says who teach more than 10 students this is the given condition and how do we know who teach how many students if you look into the table we don't know from the from this much uh, from the given tables given relations we do not know who teaches how many students so in that case you have to use something called aggregate function aggregate function which is a uh, whose symbol is uh, small or capital Z you can use both uh, and let's get started uh, the first part is first part is I'll have to perform an aggregate function so that I can I can count which TID which TID teaches how many students so for each TID for each TID I have to count the number of students this SID that means I have to perform an, perform an aggregate function called count count is the aggregate function and I'll be counting what counting SID and I'll be grouping the table by TID okay. so I can write this one or this one both are fine I'll write this okay so um, yeah grouping by TID and counting the SIDs this is what we have to perform and since this is one intermediate table one temporary table which is going to be used <coughs> excuse me which is going to be used in the upcoming part of the query <coughs> you have to also name it so let me write this again I'll do something like this I'll use this raw symbol <coughs> which is used to rename your table let's call it RC and <coughs> the two attributes are TID and S count these are the two attributes from uh, the table I'm going to gain here and to create that table I'll write group it by TID aggregate function count and count all the SIDs from teachers not teacher teachers relation okay so this is our query which will give us a table which will look something like this okay let me draw roughly draw a table which will look something like this first column will be TID from this one and second column will be S count okay and it will have uh, some it will have information like uh, TID 1 how many students 10 TID 2 number of students 5 TID 3 number of students 15 okay um, no, TID 4 number of students 11 something like this uh, a table which will look something like this which is going to be created from this query okay and since we are using this raw this these attributes uh, will be named like this and the name of the table will be RC okay this part is for naming the table correctly and this part is for this part of the query is for this is for um, yeah getting the 
count of its teacher how many students for each teacher okay now let me write another query in, uh, for, uh, now we got uh, a table which says this teacher teaches this many students okay now the second part is um, we just like in the previous question when whenever we have to perform an update uh, with a condition what you do is first you get a table okay first half you update uh, first half with the meeting uh, with, with the condition uh, uh, excuse me the first half uh, which matches the condition will be updated and this gives us uh, keeps us from updating to the remaining half so we perform a union where you um, add the, the second half second half just like in the previous question okay and for this one we create a table r1 which will look something like this given condition is uh, rc dot yes count Yes, count is greater than ten. Greater than ten from this table, teaches. Sorry, teacher join RC. Okay, we are now joining this table with the table teacher, and we are selecting only those tuples where the count is greater than 10 that means this table r1 will hold all the tuples of the teacher who teach more than 10 students and r2 is going to contain obviously all those teachers who teach either less than or equal to 10 students same join here Uh, yeah because the condition says we teach more than 10 students now the third part is teacher assignment operator pi tid mm, t name and same I better use uh, teacher dot and this uh, t dot t dot so, uh, include the full attribute table name dot attribute name and t address and t salary in this one is going to be t salary times 0 point sorry 1.0 5 5 percentage 1.05 okay and now this will give this will give us all the all, excuse me 1.05 from r1 this table okay this will give us um, all the teachers who teach more student and update their salary by 5 percent okay this part and now the second half is uh, union union by TID I will some spaces use uh, let me write it down again excuse me TID and t name can write it here t name and so on all the all the attributes from r2 mm, sorry for this inconvenience uh, i hope you you understood union all those tuples were uh, uh, who uh, for the teachers who teach less than or equals to 10 students so this will be our final query 
hope it helps thank you